guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am back in Grand Theft Auto V. And you know, we checked out the most expensive houses. We checked out the cheapest and most expensive cars. But something we haven't done yet that I thought would be super interesting is to check out the cheapest and most expensive boats in Grand Theft Auto V Online. That's right, I don't know if you know this, but you can get some insane and some very funny little boats in this game. And I thought it would be interesting to see what you can get for your money. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my God. So there's only one thing we can do, and that is go to the internet and check out the prices. All right, so I believe the website is called Doctees. It must be this one. And on this website, we will be able to buy boats. So we've got a little tug over here. This is like an old retro boat. I believe this one was in Grand Theft Auto 4 as well. It's actually a massive boat. Moving on, we've got probably one of the newest ones. I think this is the most expensive boat you can buy. This one is uh, like partially made out of wood and it's from the Italian lakes to Vespucci. I don't know what that means. But yeah, it is $1,750,000. Kind of insane, but it's a really good looking speedboat. I mean, it looks so good. But first we're gonna focus on the cheapest boats. Here we've got one that's for free. Sometimes Rockstar Games give you things for free. I, we're not gonna count it, okay? It's free! I don't want no free things! I wanna pay for it! All right, so $125,000, 325, 413, 25. Okay, that's a, that's a really big drop. What's so special about this one? We've got a 25K, pretty nice looking speedboat. It's got just enough horsepower to get you into trouble. That's just what I need. Or, although, not really. I, I need the cheapest. Is this the cheapest? 22,000 and 16,000. And I clicked the way. Oops. So the jet ski, I think that's not really a surprise, is the cheapest boat. <coughs> it's a jet ski that you can get in this game. Now, we've all seen this. We've all used it. So I don't think this one is anything special. But what's so different? about this little guy, the Tropic. It's a lightweight, classic design cruiser speedboat that's been built to last. I mean, to be honest, it looks pretty good. It's only 22K. And if you compare that to like the most expensive one, this one, 1 1.750,000, that's insane. Like you're not gonna get much more speed or value for your money when you buy the big boat. So we're gonna buy the cheapest boat. We're gonna, we're gonna have a little look at it. Here we go, purchase pending, sold. Woo! And now we just gotta wait until it arrives somewhere. Where, where does it arrive? And how do I, <laughs> how do I get off here? Okay, I guess just gotta swim. Oh, great. All right, so it's time to pick up the boat at the nearest harbor, which is not all that far away. I believe it's right over here in Venice. Although one problem, uh, we're in a buzzard. What do we, what do, we do now? It's actually really empty around here. Oh my goodness. Okay, where is it? Is that my boat? I mean, that's a nice boat, but I don't think that's the one. Wait, I think that's the one. This is the one. Look at this! Look at this little boat! <laughs> okay, let's try and land this heli on the port. <laughs> I landed it! Nice! Good job, Jelly. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The cheapest boat in Grand Theft Auto V. We're gonna compare this one to the most expensive one, which at the moment I haven't shown you. It's some crazy odd. You're gonna... You're not gonna believe it. Okay, but first, let's give this one a little test. Okay? Feels... Feels pretty good. I mean, this one's only 22K and wow, it is actually really, really fast. Oh yeah, look at me, having fun in my boat. It doesn't have much cool factor though, because oh Jelly, you bought the cheapest boat. Yeah, well, does it really matter? You know, I can have an equal amount of fun with the cheapest boat in the game. <laughs> All right, let's try out this wave. Whoa. Oh my God, that was a good jump. <laughs> and again, whoa, oh my. <laughs> Dude, these are some sick jumps. This truly is a pretty good speedboat. I believe it fits four people as well. I mean, four people. There's some boats for more money that can't even get four people in it. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa. All right, well, I mean, the cheapest boat is actually a really fun boat. For $22,000, you can get a pretty decent boat in this game. I gotta say. But well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to go back to the port and start spending some mad dollar bills. Okay, mad dollar bills. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can do some body sliding. Wow. <laughs> it was more like body slide hit the rock. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Woo. I have no idea how we are not stranded yet. Oh, oh, we're still fine. Oh, this is the perfect spot. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, let's spend some dollar bills, guys. Time to buy a yacht. We're going back to Doc T's because they have got an ad where you can buy the Galaxy Super Yacht. That's right, it's a bald, iconic, invisible from space super yacht. Have a look at these yachts. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at the ship. This is not even a boat anymore. This is a freaking ship. Oh, and it comes with jet skis. It actually comes with jet skis. Ooh, and then we can put some nice boats to the side. All right, let's buy this one and have a look. All right, so we can choose a couple of models. This one is called the Princess, and it's got the helicopter on it. That's pretty cool. Jacuzzi in the back, another heliport at the front, and a couple boats on the side. All right, let's have a look at the next one. The Orion. Okay. This one's only got one heliport. It's got like an extra area on top, though. Look. And we can also buy the Aquarius. Oh my goodness. That one is definitely the most beautiful. I mean, compare them. Just, just compare them. So this one is actually on sale right now. From the starting price of $2 million, it is now worth $1.2 million. But that's without modifications, guys. So we're going to buy the Aquarius. We're going to have a look. We can either get chrome fittings, which is pretty cool, or golden ones. $750,000. Definitely worth it. Definitely. Oh my goodness. What is this? We can choose our lighting. All right. So I do like green. So there's that. Blue. Purple. Or yellow. The yellow one is most expensive. I don't know. What about this side? Green, blue, pink, and yellow. Oh my God, it looks so good. I want it right now. I want to spend the most money possible. I feel like we're just going to have to go with the yellow one. I want to go with green, but we're going to, we're, we're trying to see how expensive it can be. So it's, it's whatever. Oh, we can also paint it. Oh my goodness. All right. So a hundred K for this. A <laughs> hundred, a hundred K. Are you, are you kidding me? So the most expensive one is 650K. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? 650K for some paint. I'll take it. And then we can choose our flag. So we can choose the American flag. Is, is there price differences between these flags, guys? That would be kind of weird. All right, there's not. So we're just going to choose the American flag. All right, our yacht name is going to be... Um, Jelly's Yacht. What, what? They charged for that. 250K to put my name on there. I'll take it. Upgraded price, three and a half million dollars. By now. Oh my goodness. Well, great. We just literally spent three and a half million dollars. Uh, can I have a look at it now? Where do I find my yacht? Hello? No way. Is that it? Is that my yacht? Oh my God. That looks so good. <laughs> Yo! And we've already got a helicopter with it. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna properly check it out in daytime. But for now, let's land this thing. Okay. I mean, how are, how hard is it to land on this ship, you know? Which way do I land? I feel like my tail is sticking out too much. There we go. That works with me. All right. Now let's head to bed and wait for daytime. It is the next day. My captain has been taking care of this yacht the whole night. Thank you, captain. Mwah! And look at that helicopter that I parked myself last night. Looks pretty good. I'm going to give you guys a yacht tour. We're starting off in the cockpit. Is this what you call it? Is, is this the cockpit? I don't know if that's the correct yacht term, but this is the cockpit. It's pretty juicy. We've got a massive world map over here. And uh, this area, which is like circled out or squared out, is where we are right now. It makes so much sense. Let's um, walk around the ship and show you guys around. All right, so leaving the captain area, we arrive at our second helipad. Oh my god. Look at this thing, guys. And this one is like <laughs> a good heli and not like the one I stole. This is like a really expensive one. So yeah, this is the top. I, I don't really know what I can show you guys. We're just going to run around like crazy. Oh, this is sick, though. What's this? What do I do here? Oh, wrong button. Oh my god, that's a great way to start off. So this is what the boat looks like underneath very boaty. The only way to get back up if you accidentally fall down like me is to climb up in the back, which isn't all that bad. I mean, look at all these freaking tools we get here. We've got one beautiful dinghy. Looks fantastic. We've got one, two, three, four sea sharks, four jet skis here. Oh my goodness. And is this that really expensive $1.7 million ship? Do we just get it included in the boat? Is this for free with the boat? Guys, buy a yacht. That sounds like a way better idea. And oh my god. Oh, 
Oh my god! I mean, I said it was good at night, but during the day, it looks even better, to be honest. Wow! Looks so good! Oh, it's, wait, wait, it says Jelly Sean on the side. You saw that? Let's go and check out the bedroom area, guys. Can we dock it? Can we... How do I, how do I dock this thing? Okay, back up and dock. There we go. Nice! Alright, so all the way at the back, we have got a jacuzzi. It's not a very small jacuzzi. It's it's a it's a fancy sized jacuzzi. Okay. Ugh. All right, that's pretty good. Nothing better than that. This is better than showers. Let's have a look at the downstairs area, guys. Come on, show me something good. Come on, it better look nice. Oh. Okay. Uh, it looks pretty boaty. Oh my goodness. We can go up the floor. Let's do the downstairs area first. We've got a bedroom. Why is there a rocket launcher? I'll take it. It's a really large bed as well. We got some money on the floor. Oh no, that's, those are mines. Couple closets. I believe there's a bathroom in here. Oh, this is not your average size bathroom, guys. Look at the shower. It's pretty crazy. All right, so leaving the bedroom, we've got like a huge hallway with, you know, arts. What's this? We've got, I think another one. Oh no, we've got an office and a bedroom. Oh, they're attached probably with the same bathroom. Yeah, same looking bathroom with an office and a sniper. What's on the PC? There's nothing. Oh, this is not an office. It's like a makeup table. Of course. Makeup table. Moving on, we've got another bed. Oh my god. With some more art. That one's actually quite nice. This is insane, guys. This is actually insane. Oh, of course. A way nicer bathroom. Beautiful sink. Beautiful shower. A bathtub, of course. And a nice toilet with a hairdryer. Is that a hairdryer or a curler? I don't know. It looks so good. All right, so let's check out the upstairs area. So it looks like we got a little chill area, some nice couches. There's a lot of chill areas in this yacht. Got a nice TV, looks really nice. Oh, the bar. Of course, we need a bar. We've actually got someone working here. What's up, lady? How you doing? With the beautiful helicopter in the back. Oh my goodness, looks so good. This is actually fantastic, guys. This is actually fantastic. See, I think that's the inside. It looks like we've got three bedrooms. Quite small, but you know, it's Rockstar Games. It's their logic. I think in real life, a super yacht like this will have 15 bedrooms with like 10 service people on board. We've only got two. What happened to the back of my helicopter? That was not like how I left it. This is not how I left my heli, guys. All right, so at the front, we've got two beautiful chill areas. Oh, actually, we've got three. Look at that. And what's this? Another downstairs area? Oh, just a little window. Just a window. Just a random window. Why not? So here's where you uh, insert the Titanic. Oh no, not again! Oh, look at that golden anchor. <laughs> well, guys, I think that was it for this video. We checked out the cheapest boat you could get in Grand Theft Auto and the most expensive one. And I gotta say, the logic is a little bit off. But it's so cool though. This is the coolest thing I've ever bought in this game. So please keep in mind guys, the prices might differ on each account. For some of you, there's not a free submarine and maybe for some of you, this thing's more expensive. I don't really know how it works. It's Rockstar Logic. Oh, and my boat, I didn't dock my boat. I, I thought I docked it. Where did it go? Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe because I am on my way to 10 million subscribers and I need your help. So leave a sub and leave a like and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button and also make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on jellystore.com.